What's up everyone, I'm just going to do a quick video on how to assemble the Invictus Practical 2.8 shotgun shell caddies. Uh, when I got my first one I didn't really find any how-to videos and it was a little complicated for me at first, mainly because I don't like to read instructions very well. There we go. When you receive the box you will get your assembly instructions, bag of screws and the two-point adapter. I chose to utilize tech locks and the caddy itself. I always start off by unbagging everything and opening my tech lock and tossing everything in the box to not lose screws. Alright, to begin you have to figure out how you want to orientate your caddy. If you're looking, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but one side of the caddy is actually higher than the other side. What you want to do is have the higher side of the caddy be closest to your 12 o'clock. So for instance, say that you're doing a strong hand reload, you'd want the uh, high point on the caddy to be orientated like this. And if you're doing a weekend reload, you'd want to have your caddy orientated as so. For me, I'm going to be installing this, or assembling this, for a strong hand reload, so I'll have my caddy orientated as such. Once you have chosen how you want to orientate your caddy, you will then grab your three binding posts. And there are three different sizes. For steps two and three, you'll want to take the longest and medium sized binding post. Start by taking your caddy and taking the long binding post, installing it on the very bottom hole, and the medium binding post will go into the second from the top, so it will look something like this. After you have installed the two binding posts, you will then install your plastic standoffs. And this part can be a little bit tricky. These standoffs are a very tight fit to the binding posts. There you are. One thing that I've actually ended up doing is taking a flat surface, like a bias, just using a plastic hammer. press these binding posts all the way to the bottom. Alright, and they'll be installed like so. Once you've installed your binding posts and standoffs, you'll then grab your two-point adapter and find the smallest binding post and install it into the very top slot. We'll then turn it over and install the next binding post. Once you've installed the standoff into the binding post on the two-plate adapter, you'll then take your caddy and two-point adapter and figure out what cant you want to run the caddy at. You have your option of four, four different caddies, starting it straight up and down, and you can work your way all the way down to about a 45-degree angle. I personally choose to run it at either the number two or number three slot. And for this one, I'm going to be running the number three. Once you've chosen what slot you want to, or angle you want to run your caddy at, take one of these small screws and install the two-point adapter onto the caddy. Once 
once you've done that, you can take your last spacer and install it onto the onto the bottom um, binding post that was still exposed. Once you're done, your caddy should look like this. Once you're done, take your tech lock and install the completed caddy onto the tech lock. You will be for tech locks. You will be using these uh, smaller screws that are included with the package. If you're using the ELS belt system, you'll actually be using the longer screws, which are also included. There you go. That's how to install the Invictus Practical 2.8 shotgun shell cap.